at last. <laughs> you know, you've solved the problem that you've worked on for six months or two years or, or even longer. Um, you know, and at last you've got it. And of course, that's immensely pleasing. It all comes together in a very short space of time and you have, you have a day where you're completely over the moon. And actually, by now I've learnt when I've got those days, I don't actually look very carefully to make sure that I'm right at that point because I might be wrong and then it's back to the, oh. <laughs> We'd been thinking a lot about a problem and then one night we were together in, in an institute in, in the centre of Paris um, and we figured out how to, how to derive some formula that described um, the uh, patterns amongst quantum energy levels. And, um, and we were completely so excited about this. I was so excited, I was physically sick. I don't know, it's just that everything becomes clear. Very, you know, that's really the, uh, that sensation that it's, of course, you know, it, it, it is that simple. So it's like going from something where everything is fog and suddenly blue sky and sun. An exciting period is when you think you know how you're going to get there. And it's going to take you a while, but you're pretty sure that you've got, you've got a grip on this and you're not going to let go. Um, and you're just ex executing the plan. And yes, as you're executing it, you know, it's yes, 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 you were right. This is the way. And then you say, ah, you know, this is wonderful. Now I've reached. And but that lasts a very short time and then you have to start again, you know. What is the elementary particle of sudden understanding? I call it the clariton, okay. Now, we all recognize it. Suddenly, aha, you understand something, it's great. The problem is, there are also anti-claritons that come the next day and annihilate with the one from yesterday, leaving you nowhere, very frustrated. The first time that you have an idea where you had, you had nothing and then all of a sudden you have an idea, this is a fantastic feeling. And that moment of clarity, that moment of, is, is really fantastic. You get like a huge, like a rush of adrenaline. And that's the, I think that's what gets people hooked. Right, well in this particular case, I think I was at home when, uh, when I realized that, uh, well, it definitely would work. And I wrote him an email saying, we, we got it, great. So I was certainly very happy. Um, my wife was very happy too because it meant then she could start seeing more of me. <laughs> okay, for instance, okay, uh, what has happened? You're thinking about some problem and think, oh, I found it. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so proud about myself, how I hit. But after that, okay, in, in perhaps in a few hours or perhaps in a couple of days, you recognize that you make some mistake. And so you're once more unhappy, you see. Great moments. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like, One has to take a relative definition of that. I might yeah. be still waiting for a, for a great moment. It's a wonderful feeling when you, when you finally crack a problem or you finally realize that you're on the track and the rest is perhaps rather routine working out. Uh, that's a lovely feeling. It's one of the best feelings in life. And uh, it doesn't come often, but it does come. When you start a new problem, it's like... Uh, finding a way around a strange landscape in the dark. And at first you're stumbling around in circles, getting nowhere, getting back to the same place, slowly perhaps getting some idea of what the country's like. And then suddenly there's a flash of light, and you see there's a very beautiful way, which is the obvious way to go. And if you're lucky, at the end you've had enough of these flashes of light, the whole thing is absolutely daylight, and you see a very clear, simple, beautiful way right from the beginning to the end. And that's very satisfying. Um, is there, there's no sort of sudden uh, flash of light on the road to Damascus. <laughs> not, not in my game. I was just sitting in this laundrette, it was a sort of Saturday, Sunday morning, I don't remember now, and I started to read this paper, and it was just like, wow. There was a, there's some ideas in there that just, it's hard to describe what a fantastic experience it was. This thing just kind of <sighs> rushed through my body, you know, this kind of, well of emotion and excitement that there was an idea in there that I thought was just utterly mesmerizing. One can have many love affairs in one's life. Some of them stand out as astonishing. Most of them are quite beautiful and some you just want to forget. 
and so it is with the creative work that you do. There are different levels of it. You know, I, you know, if you ask what are the most creative moments, you know, there are three or four things that stand out. But you know, everything is wonderful as it's happening. When it would first happen to me in, in grad school, every time it happened, it kind of felt like a miracle. When things clarify, it, it obviously feels, in one sense, very gratifying and, and uh, empowering. But there's also a sense in which I almost always kick myself for not having seen it before. <laughs> the, the central proof for my thesis, I found that when I was, I, I was just having a shower. And I, I had been thinking about this problem <laughs> the, whole, the whole night, you know, basically dreaming about it. And then in the morning I had my shower and then I finally thought, yes, yes, that's it. And that was the central thing in my, in my thesis. It's just the best feeling in the world. I don't know, it's just incredible. It's exhilarating. It's, you know, it's those moments that you kind of live for in your, you know, your math life is... <laughs> Most of what we do is filled with, you know, wrong turns and dead ends and things that don't work out and ideas that just, you know, aren't right. And then just every once in a while you get that um, thing that does work and it's just brilliant when it happens. And it is, you know, <laughs> you get hooked on that. Imagine, I mean, there was something you've been working on for five years and the day comes around where you understand it. That's something. And, you know, it, you know, it's... Um, you really feel, you know, just for these great moments, it's worth doing mathematics for. <laughs>